yourself, Jim, and you will find a way. Father? No. Jim, I give up. Now, if you have a heart, you'll take me back to Bristol and at least allow me the dignity of facing the gallows, huh? Look out! charge like. You know what I mean? In charge of what? Well, for starters, these lot. So behave yourself. I better show you round, seeing as you're gonna spend eternity here. I don't think so. Now, which is the way out? Listen, Silver. These demons is very loyal to me, so don't knock me off. Oh, OK, OK. <laughs> Call off your hellhounds. Well, Mr. Boyle, if you're in charge, lead the way. Don't worry, Mike. 
still get the hang of it. Once we boiled him in oil a few times. <laughs> Here we are, Silver. Well, in you go, like. He's expecting you. And good luck. You're gonna need it. <laughs> You could make it. <laughs> what is this place? Why, man, you're in the underworld. So shut up. <gasps> now, the reason you're here. <laughs> oh, man, I love this job is to serve me for all eternity. <laughs> but wait! There must have been some mistake. An error in your calculations, perhaps. No, I don't think so. You see, it's all here in the log. Your good deeds against bad. And there's an awful lot of bad. Oh, except for one little good deed. But even that was an accident. Only one? Might as well get used to it. You are here to stay. I don't think so, fat boy. I want to appeal. So be it. You are charged with leading a wicked life. How do you plead? Not guilty. And I can prove it. Very well. You have one chance, Silver. So, choose your witness well. In that case, I call myself. <laughs> so... Silver. Very well, Captain Silver. It's the night before your seventh birthday, and you're in the storm-tossed seas. Do you remember that night? Like it was yesterday, Captain Silver. And on that night, did you not see a capsized boat with five men overboard drowning fast? Indeed, sir. And did you not, without any regard for your own personal safety, wade into the raging seas and save those five men from certain death? Yes. Ha! I rest my case. I saved them, all right, along with a fine cargo of... So, Captain Silver, it seems you will even deceive yourself. Why, you belong here almost as much as I do. <laughs> so, looks like you're going to be staying here after all. <laughs> Jim, Jim, wait up, lad. This'll do it. Gotcha. This isn't funny, Ben. Come on, Jim. Look, I want to find the others as much as you do, but we've searched all day, we're both exhausted, and it's getting dark. Let's find somewhere to rest, and we'll push on in the morning. All right, Jim? Promise? Promise. Look, a cavern. Just what we want. Huh? What was that? Don't move, Jim. It's Pew's vultures. Back away, slowly. 
Let's get inside. Quick! So it's true then, isn't it, Ben? Pew's still alive! Yes, lad. And as long as he stays that way, none of us are safe. Ten thousand years of loyal service, and I get demoted to tour guide. Oh, stop moaning and show me around this miserable place. I've just got to find a way out of here. And I think I might just have found one. I hope you're not planning to escape, Silver. As if I would. Well, Jim, we'll be safe now. Pew will be in for a few surprises if he tries to get through these. At last. Do you think there's enough? I think so, lad. And you still promise we'll look for the others tomorrow? They're here somewhere, Jim, and we'll find them. Thanks, Ben. Well, come on, then. What are we waiting for? All right. Keep your hair on, like. Right. Here's some of our torment. This is the soup kitchen. Second that. I tell you what, Mr. Boyle, you can be in charge of cleaning up around here. That's certainly all the responsibility you're capable of. <laughs> right then. So tomorrow we find the others. Maybe we should wait a while. What? You promised. We've got to find them. I know, Jim, but things are different now. We might be in danger. More danger than our friends. Jim, look. No, you look, Ben. Huh? I'm wondering. Maybe you want the treasure all to yourself. That's it, isn't it, you old pirate? How can you say that, Jim? How can you? After all we've been through. Quite easily. If you won't help me find them, then I'll just have to do it on my own, won't I? Jim. Jim. Jim! So, Silver, what's this great scheme of yours that's so much better than mine, eh? Look for yourself. Huh? What's all this, then? This is my idea of eternal torment. Oh, so what's it do exactly? It doesn't do anything. Let me demonstrate. No, not in your money, in mine. Thou 
thousands of lost souls, all damned to an eternal mindless existence, and all running the machine that torments the next. <laughs> A work of genius, if I do say it myself. It's incredible! Yeah, you're too kind. It's just the start. The lava then goes there. Then up there, down there, turn this powering that. And all producing? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. All designed to make our victims' lives infinitely and mind-numbingly awful. What? All those... And engines and pistons, surely they must produce a... Oh, no. I knew you were up to something. You spotted my little plan. You're brighter than I thought. Too bad you won't be able to do anything about it. I'll have you, Silver. You could make it. How things change. <laughs> right, here's the deal. A simple deal. You let me out, or I put out these hellfires. Mmm. Admirable, Mr. Silver. Admirable. Look, fat guy. One false move and this place is soup. I like you, Silver. I really do. I'll let you go, but in return... You bring me the soul of another. Another soul, eh? I think I might know just the person. A perfect angel. from them somehow. But how do you stop something that big? Of course, yes. Step right this way. True, yes. Ah! Ben, you 
idiot. This isn't meant for me. Consider the deal done. Feels so terrible. Ben, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Help! It's going to take me forever to climb back up there. Wait a minute. What's this? Footprints. Someone's been here before. It's another map with Flint's own seal. Ben. I'm coming back. We're going to find it. We're going to find it!